Jacksonville City Council is taking a look at projects big and small that could change the city for years to come. Among the items up for discussion at tonight's City Council meeting, the future of the Jacksonville Landing, saving homeless dogs and cats, and renovating the county jail to better accommodate inmates with disabilities. Eric Alvarez is on your site, to, on your site tonight to explain it all for us. The project calls for work to be done on seven floors of the pretrial detention center, including upgrades to 31 detention cells and 24 showers. The price tag of all of this, $900,000. It's part of a settlement agreement with the U.S. Department of Justice, which found 64 city facilities did not meet the requirements of the Americans with Disabilities Act. The council will also vote on allowing the city to spend $18 million to reclaim the Jacksonville landing. There are plans in the works to tear it down, but no real plan for what will go up in its place. Some smaller scale projects also have big impacts, like a proposal to set aside $350,000 for a new playground at Lonnie Miller Park in Northwest Jacksonville. And who says city council meetings can't have a bit of cute? There's also an ordinance to allow Jacksonville Animal Care and Protective Services to partner with area pet smarts. The idea is to put city cats and dogs in Jacksonville stores to better their chances of being adopted and to free up space at the city's animal control shelter. You can see continuing coverage of all of these bills and tonight's city council meeting tonight on First Coast News at 11 and also at firstcoastnews.com. Eric Alvarez, First Coast News, on your side.